Mild spoilers for Eternals follow. The reviews are in for Eternals, Marvel's latest superhero offering, and the consensus by and large is that it missed the mark. Despite an epic narrative scope, a stacked cast, and Oscar-winning director Chloe Zhao behind the camera, the film is one of Marvel's most plotting and joyless installments in years. Nevertheless, the MCU must always look ahead, and of course, this film features not one but two post-credits tags that set the stage for a few new and important additions to the universe. While the first post-credits tag was already spoiled ahead of time, there's another that teases a compelling future for one of the movie's characters, Dane Whitman, Kit Harrington. Dane only appears briefly at the beginning and end of Eternals as Cersei, Gemma Chan as human boyfriend, but there's a blink and you miss it reference to his family's ancestral crest, which the post-credits scene circles back to. Because of course, you don't cast Jon Snow to just play the boyfriend, the scene is simple, Dane stands over an old crate before opening it to reveal a sword. A voice, more on that in a bit, then asks Dane if he's ready for it yet. This is a nod to Dane's comic book history as the Black Knight, in the comics, Dane inherits the mantle of the Black Knight, a continuation of a legacy dating back to medieval England and King Arthur's reign. The first Black Knight, created by Roy Thomas and John Bossema in 1967's Avengers No. 47, was Dane's ancestor Sir Percy, whose death at the hands of his nemesis Mordred began the passing of the torch through Dane's family. Dane specifically takes on the title from his uncle, Nathan Garrett, who leveraged the power of the Black Knight for nefarious means. Garrett eventually crosses paths with Iron Man and is mortally wounded in the encounter. On his deathbed, Garrett confesses his sins to Dane and then asks him to restore honor to the family legacy by taking on the role of the new Black Knight. Like Dane says in Eternals, his family history is complicated. In addition to donning protective armor, the Black Knight wields a sword known as the Ebony Blade, crafted by Merlin. The Ebony Blade is a powerful weapon capable of cutting through any substance, yes, even vibranium, while also bestowing a healing factor and various other abilities. However, the trade-off for this immense power comes in the form of a curse, the longer the Ebony Blade is wielded, the more it corrupts its user. Specifically, the blade draws out bloodlust and rage in its user in exchange for its tremendous power. In a recent Black Knight series, the origins of the Ebony Blade were tweaked, resulting in the sword's power directly correlating to the curse, the blade thrives on the spirits of flawed and imperfect wielders and becomes less potent if a person is entirely pure of heart. This revelation shattered Dane, who always sought to use the sword for heroic deals.